It's BBC Radio Stoke coming live today from Abbey Holt and Perry here. Taking your calls as ever, though, on Free For All Friday, 01782 208 008. We've still got uh, just over an hour left. Now, I'm joined by Linda Stone from CareLink, uh, connected with the uh, charity Saltbox. Hello, Linda. Hello there. What's, uh, what's CareLink, then? What do you provide? So we offer a service for anyone over 50 who lives in Stoke-on-Trent who finds themselves lonely or isolated. So for whatever reasons, all sorts of reasons, they find themselves not with that social interaction that they would really like. So our volunteers, we've got about 30 of them, will phone people up uh, once or twice a week, have a chat with them, see what's going on. If they pick up there's any particular problems, we have paid staff as well who can follow up on those things and see how we can help. Uh, now sometimes that's connecting people in. So. Um, places like today, you know, if we have people who live in this area, we know this is going on, we'll take them along, introduce them to that. If they have sort of specialist uh, issues, we'll find other organisations. Just really trying to connect people um, to, to the outside world. You say you, you phone people, so it's sort of an outreach thing this, isn't it? But uh, I guess you're not phoning people at random. How do you get these, these names and numbers? Yeah, so people get referred into us, but they can, they can refer themselves or through, uh, through doctors, through adult social care, through other voluntary sector, anybody really, family, friends. Um, if somebody they think would benefit, they like having a chat on the phone. I've got your leaflet here. There's a couple of quotes on it. The calls... Make my day, says one person. You know somebody is calling, is going to call you, and that they care, is another quote. They help me through a really hard time, and I'll always be grateful. So I guess you, you're learning to see this as really vital. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, I think it's, it makes a real difference for those that we're involved with. Um, but I think also loneliness is becoming a, a more recognised issue and it could be anyone of any, any age, any stage. And so I'm actually part of a, of a loneliness group in the city. So we're trying to bring together everyone. It's a bit of oxymoron, though, isn't it, a loneliness group? I know, I know. So it's anybody who's working with people, uh, coming across people who are lonely. We're trying to look at what's going on across the city. How can we connect it all in? So, you know, the fact that Radio Stoke were doing this this week fits in really nicely. You know. I see a banner that you're connected with, uh, Wave, what's Wave? Help Wave Goodbye to Loneliness. Yes, yeah, so it's, um, I have to remind myself what they all stand for. So, um, so it's about, um, the W is who around you is lonely. Um, a is just ask them if they're all right. If you see someone who seems to be on their own, you know, have a chat. Um, the V is, is about where you can get information. So libraries particularly are a good place to find out what's going on. So V for visit. Visit, yes, that's right, sorry. And the final one is, is everyone could play a part. You know, there's organisations like us, we make a difference, but we've got 150, 200 people on our books. Everyone, uh, you know, there's more people out there, so we all have a part to play um, in, in helping people to, to feel less lonely. Uh, are you looking for volunteers as well, or have you got enough people who, who are manning the phones? We're always looking for volunteers, yeah. I mean, particularly as we push the service, we get more people referred in, so we need more people making calls. So, you know, if you're interested in being involved, then then give us a shout. I guess you're looking for people people, are you? If there's such a person. Yeah, I mean, it needs to be people who like chatting on the phone, uh, but who are interested in people. Uh, I mean, I always say that occasionally I make the phone calls and, and I put my professional hat on. I'm not very good at it. Whereas our volunteers, you, you listen to them and they're having a good old natter about, you know, time's gone past, all sorts of things. So, so, yeah, yeah, it's great. Good old chinwag. So, yeah, if you're one of those sort of people, you know, it's like, like a good old gossip. Go for your life. Um